Well, I'd fire my special teams coordinator, but uh, that's me, so I'll have to fire myself. You know, special teams were just were just atrocious at times, and uh, and I think you know we've got to get the snap right, we've got to get people in the right spot, we've got to get the count right on our protections, and uh, overall kicking wise, I thought we did okay as far as kicking the ball deep, placing the ball, kicking field goals. That part was good, but the mechanics that go around the kick, we've got to straighten out. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think as guys are getting more and more used to what we're doing and get more more familiar with with how we're doing it. Obviously, the execution is going up, and that's what you expect. And and we probably ran, you know, we ran six kickoffs, which is more than we usually do. But the reason I did that was so they could get familiar with the new return that we had. And and you know, toward the end of practice, I thought they were picking it up. I just listened to my keys from our kick return uh, kick return coach, and he was just telling me if it goes outside, bend it inside, and then uh, inside the hash, and then bounce it outside. And I was just reading my blocks, and then just had a big hole, and then. Just took off. You know, both those guys are going to have to have good, good uh, careers here for this year to, for us to be good. And I thought defensively we came out and played really well early and really stuffed the offense. I thought offense got untracked a little bit later. Uh, but mechanically, offensively, you know, we would have had a couple of delay penalties. We didn't want to get the plays in quite quick enough. A lot of things we can work on mechanically. Now, the flip side of that is we haven't been doing that in practice. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to start doing that more and more in practice and making sure that, uh, you know, we have the play clocks and things going on to, so our guys have a sense of it. The other part was in our kicking game, they're going to have different timing rules too. And we've got to be aware of that and make sure we're getting, getting set up and getting ready to go right away. Uh, you know, we played hard, you know, um, the beginning of it, beginning of the scrimmage, we came out flying around, uh, you know, it's hot. We, we kind of slowed down a little bit and picked it back up at the end. Uh, we, you know, we're looking great, much better than I think we have in years past. And uh, we're all, we're all coming together better than we were the years past, that's for sure. Knowing everyone's position at the receiving, from the X to the Z to the F to the Y. So I'm used to just learning one uh, position, but now we're learning, I have to learn inside, outside, on the left side, on the right side, on the boundary to the field. It's a lot of, it's a little difficult, but I'm getting the hang of it. It's more, I think more figuring out who we have to work with. We've got to find a number three. Who's that number three going to be so we can invest the time we need to make him get him up to playing shape? You know, I thought Picker really did some really good things. Mm -hmm. And and again, he's coming off an injury where this is his first real action in a scrimmage. Uh, he hadn't been allowed to do that before. And uh, and so I thought he got better as he got more and more comfortable with it. You know, the, the freshmen right now, they're just, they're, they're freshmen. And they're trying to figure out the different speeds and what the play is and all that stuff. But overall, potentially, I think we've got some good kids there. And, and I liked, overall, I liked the, uh, with the exception of the fumble, I liked how the running backs ran. I thought they ran hard. I thought they did a good job of seeing the hole. And uh, and so we've just got to clean some things up and uh, and make sure that we can handle pressure when they're bringing blitz, or when they're bringing uh, linebackers and safeties in our pass protection. Well, it felt good. Uh, we knew it was going to storm, so we came in early. We knew we were going to get the whole thing in, get all the plays in, get all the reps. I think we did a great job. Uh, everyone played as hard as they could. Um, it's been a week. We've done a lot of work. Uh, we got a lot done, but we still got a lot more to go. I think Matt's had a great spring, and, and that's just carried on to this fall. And, and, and he is really running the ball hard and well and really taking every part of his game to a new level. And he's doing that strictly because um, he's committed and really found out, hey, this is my last go around. I'm going to really make something happen. And he's really making the best of it. We, we, we like our running back crew. We've got a number of, of guys who we think can, can carry the ball and be very effective for us. You know, they've got to be great pass protectors too. And, and so all that has to work in. But but yeah, I think, I think we are pretty blessed with, with some talent there and I think as we get more in sync with the offensive line, hopefully that'll just start to blossom. I took my steps, coached each of the steps, to take the exact steps, and uh, the line did a great job. They executed every position perfectly, and uh, the right guard came across, blocked the guy that was in front of me perfectly, I made a jump off him, and then we're out, but without the line, can't do that. They were, I mean, again, they've made a lot of improvements too since last year, and again, with the whole team, I think we're just looking better as a whole, and uh, we're gonna have to you know, keep working to be able to stop that. I think I think uh, you know Cam Brown, just a freshman. We we had really high hope. We felt he was a highly recruited athlete out of high school, and, and really had great expectations for him. And he certainly hasn't disappointed. As he's gotten more and more familiar with the scheme, he's got great ball skills. He obviously, can run really well. And and so I thought it was good to see him execute today. And then um, uh, Tony Gelati, uh, we've kind of slid him into a different position from where he was. He was a tight end. He was a fullback. Now he's playing this H back, and I think this suits him very well. And it's interesting, you know, he's, he's not flashy, but every time you look up, he's got four or five catches for, for quite a few yards. So, um, you know, I was glad to see him get there because we've got to find someone else behind Donald that can come in and fill that position. Uh, I felt really good for my first uh, college scrimmage. As a freshman, uh, it was a new adjustment. It was kind of difficult to learn the plays. And, you know, as offense, we struggled a little slow, and, you know, we picked it up towards the end. And, you know, we're just out here making plays as a group, and 
every snap of the play and try to win. I've never ever predicted what I'm going to be happy with because you know you're never as good or as bad as you are when you think you walk off the field. I think what I what I will be excited about is seeing our kids get up and compete and I think I will be excited about the foundations for the special teams that we have laid in you know the, the kick return that you talked about you know really excites me that these kids are taking that part serious uh, we've got to obviously straighten out our punt team and straighten out our our, uh, our our kickoff team to make sure the defensive side of that stuff good but uh, overall I'm really pleased with where we're at right now obviously we have a lot of work to do but the attitude the culture the uh, commitment by the kids to both each other and to the plan has been outstanding, best we've ever had. And, and we continually talk and coach that culture all the time. And I think our kids are buying in. And, and more importantly, they're enjoying themselves. They're coming out. They can't wait to get to meetings because it's fun. They can't wait to come out to practice because it's fun. And it, it just it's just a whole different vibe on the field right now uh, with our kids helping each other get better. And, and the coaches, the communication between the players and coaches has been outstanding. So hopefully we'll continue to make that better. But, but given where we were, you know, Last year, toward the first part of the year, uh, we're light years ahead of that right now. Oh, I love where the team is right now. Obviously, we know we have a long way to go, but you know that's what practice is for. That's why we're out here every day. So I think if we had one thing to improve on, it's coming out every day with the same energy. Sometimes we come out, we're all hyped up, everyone wants to get in there, and then some days it's a little hot and it takes a little bit to get amped up. And I think that's the biggest weakness right now. If we come out every day, you know, firing our stomachs and with all that energy, I think it's going to be real positive for the team. And strength-wise, I think that. We usually end up finishing strong, no matter how we how we start off. We always, you know, rally back and finish strong every time. And you know, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna you know show everyone you know what we've been working on and how we've been you know working hard every day. And I think we're gonna give the guys a good show. Um, it's kind of different from high school because as a freshman, you know, the seniors usually like pick on you, don't really help you out, and just take you down as a person. But like this receiving core, they're really uh, they really help me a lot. They treat me like. I've been their brother since like five years ago, like we knew each other for a long time and I like the environment and the culture at Stetson University.